I'm just going to get to the point here. This is a Let's React to Berserk Volume 1. And I've never ever done something like this before. You will never see a webcam because you do not want to see a webcam. <laughs> you do not want to see me. But uh, for the record, I have read Volume 1, but that was like a year ago. So this is really me refreshing my memory and reacting accordingly. Let's see, got first page. Love that crossbow. That's a nice crossbow. We get it. It's nice. I can't read that. <laughs> Let me just get past all this. I do own the volumes, by the way, just for the record, so... And so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, he's captured. Look at the muscles. This is where he... This That's later, though, if I recall correctly. And here we go. Black Swordsman, The Brand, and The Guardians of Desire, Chapter 1. I still don't understand how the manga stuff works. Apparently, 20 pages is an episode. A certain amount of pages is a chapter. A certain amount of pages, I believe, is a volume? Like, if it's 200 pages, it's a volume, and then a certain amount of volumes is an arc? I think I honestly don't know dick about that. I wasn't paying attention, but... Ah, there we go. I remember this first scene, uh, and I like the coloring of it. Like, so pretty. That's the whole point, like... When you first see it, you think, oh, he's just having sex with a girl, but no, it's <laughs> a little more Lovecraftian than that. Yes, yeah. But he knows. He knows what she was. And it's a nice spread of him and a Lovecraftian horror. A Medusa wannabe with a big-ass tongue and really sharp teeth. Art's pretty good, though. That's what makes Berserk so great, is the art and the D. He really reads Berserk for the story. <laughs> well, I do, so there. It's a nice little spread there. She's embracing him, but I think, yeah, it, he fell into my trap. Nah, he didn't. He knew all along. And no fear, either. Just... The only one trapped is you, bitch. <laughs> yeah, how very guts. We have to remember how to read it. It's right to left. Before I send you to hell. No, that's not what happens, obviously. <laughs> he just blows her head off. The end. It's kind of obvious, though, that he does. Damn, and that's all it took to kill her, too. Interesting. And he barely even looks back. It's a nice scene of him walking away. That's happy cheese. That's happy, happy cheese. And the happy moon. I think even the moon is smiling. Uh, the Vicath. I look at this poor guy begging. And people just ignoring him. Typical. And then again, like, you have to be careful about that. Because some of them are real assholes. Then... Yeah, sometimes I just don't have anything to say, but... Oh no, I... Oh, this scene here, someone's throwing a knife at a pair of legs. <laughs> at first I thought that was a girl, like, from the anime, but no, I, I actually didn't know that it was an elf until I actually read the manga. See, that'll... <laughs> cute. He's so cute. Oh, I so... I feel sorry for that elf. Mm. Yeah. So nobody wants to get involved. 
And here comes the next one. They're just throwing knives at him. Oh, Puck. Don't know what kind of powers he has. Looks like it's just healing. <laughs> and for some reason, Guts just can't help but get involved. Being an on why don't you untie me? You gnaw right through your arteries. Oh, look at this. A puck's eating the rope. Hey, maybe he can gnaw right through you. No, 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 no. Wah. Oh, puck. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> god damn. Guts <laughs> just shoots the guy right through the head. And the thing about Guts is when you first meet him, he comes across as really disinterested, not really wanting to help, but in this case he does anyway. <laughs> oh god damn, my guy just died. And everybody's pissed. That's him again. Shooting through the eyes, the throat. This is some damn good shots. That's why, like, if I ever play as him, try to and fail to cosplay him, I will always have him as some kind of like heavy melee of course with um, explosives and projectiles, guns, and certainly not because of me, no, but him. <laughs> anyway, he's just killing everything that moves. And he's trying to play it off like he doesn't give a shit, but it's not really the case, he does. <laughs> shot him through the nose. Shot a guy right through the nose. Another good shot. And then he pulls it out. Oh god damn, that has to hurt. Oh damn. Gah. Gah, yeah, no shit. Gah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Puck. That's gotta hurt. Here. Coca. <laughs> Jesus. He then, like, it's not actually entirely pulled out, but he almost has it pulled out and then slams the guy's head on the table. Damn. It's a wonder he can breathe. And then, of course, he answers. The message, huh? The black swordsman has come. Dim boots. So... Oh, uh, yeah, someone's trying to get at him, but it's not going to happen. Oh, god damn. <laughs> he cuts the guy right in half. <laughs> oh, damn. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, terrific. <laughs> it's exactly what I'm going to put in this video. Okay, terrific. <laughs> Maybe something else. <laughs> I'm thinking laugh tracks. Just sliced him right in half. Damn. Yeah. I have to remember though, it's right to left. Right to left. Forgot. keep forgetting that. Oh, damn. Yeah, and... Ugh. It was too much too big to be called a sword. Well, it, it, it's a sword, but it's a big one. <laughs> ah, and Puck is just so shocked. Everyone is. Who wouldn't be? Massive, thick, heavy, and far too rough. Indeed, it was like a heap of raw iron. Yeah, iron, huh? Iron never lies to you. Two hundred pounds is still two hundred pounds. Ha. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> now he's not going to leave Puck there. Wait a minute. <laughs> Yay! Alright, that's enough of that. Sneeze. If you're going to save someone, don't just leave him tied up like that. You're supposed to follow through in the end, you know? A slab. Puck calls it a slab. Oh, huh. And Puck and Guts is just walking and ignoring him. Now, there's a reason he does all this, though, and you find out later. Since the... 
Uh huh. It's kept prisoner, locked in a cage, and soaked in a bottle. A fairy in a bottle. How precious. Hey, Puck. How you doing? Made a deal. Yeah, the mayor made a deal. And there'd be... Yeah, right. Sure, that's complete bullshit. After this, I guess they'll start attacking again then. Guts is just... Psh, gives no fucks. Mm -hmm. They'll cut you to pieces. <laughs> if. That's probably exactly what Guts is thinking. If. Oh no, Puck! He gets swatted. Oh, how'd you do that for? Oh. Oh, I see. Puck was touching him. Yeah, Guts no likey being touched. But you'll find out about that too. I've never actually seen it, but I know. <laughs> Squash you. But that stuck up attitude. Um, Puck, he's hostile for a reason. Like you figure it out later. Oh, squash you. I squash them too. <laughs> Puck's so adorable. Oh, Jesus, it's getting whipped here. Uh, damn, someone's getting whipped hard. It's like a puddle under his feet. That's not Guts getting whipped. Oh, I guess by the... I guess it is, but yeah, Guts can handle it. I think Guts actually likes pain. Wait, let me see something first. Just a second. Alright, let me keep going now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Add some chicken and a biscuit and some water. It's real good. Yeah, of course Guts is stubborn. He's a stubborn brat. But like I said, I think he loves pain. I always believed that for some reason. Now nah, Guts are talking about he's not making shit. You <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you know you like being whipped, Guts. Well, all those weapons are his. Yeah, his own war. That's guts for you. Ready for war, as always. And yes, he is a mercenary. Murdered those men. Wait, are you telling me that those guards standing there are scarecrows? Oh, you mean like the ones in Elfhelm when you just got off the boat? Those scarecrows? <laughs> Wow, looks like Mira planned this out well. Yeah. The ruler of this man, he's horrible, we get it. No. I do, how can... And Guts understands. It's, yes, he's familiar. Yeah, so that's what those prisoners are for, to feed the Apostle. I actually thought that they were prisoners of, because they were accused of witchcraft. I forgot that it was to feed this asshole. So poor Mayor is trying to protect them. But, uh, yeah, that's not really going to work out too well. It's just a temporary measure. All but Guts calls him, though. Don't you mean protect yourself? Well, to be fair, what's he supposed to do? Ooh, Mayor doesn't like being caught like that. Torture him as much as he like. I don't care. But don't kill him. We still have to hand him over to Coca Castle alive. Coca-Cola? <laughs> Coca-Cola Castle. Yeah, look at the mayor. Like, he's sweating and kind of angry. Yeah. 
Oh, he's gonna come here and beg for forgiveness. Baron. This is the Snake Baron, if I recall correctly. Baron. Real shady looking guy. Yeah. Oh, Snake Baron knows of him. Huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And they think he's wretched, but to be fair, what is this mayor supposed to do? Forgiveness. Uh -huh. Any of the... Holy shit! Wait, let me see the context now. Mayor is begging for forgiveness. Unlike before, you're now worried about losing your own life, aren't you? Aren't you, Mayor? And then they cut off his ear. Or somebody's ear. Oh. He throws it right at the Mayor. So I'm guessing it's someone else's ear. Oh, he jumps so damn high. Now all of a sudden he doesn't care. All I wish to see are humans within a fiery apocalypse trying to escape. Oh. Oh, what a nice guy. I don't even need an excuse, none. So he just does it just to do it. That's it? Oh boy. And he's busy thinking of the black swordsman, so obviously he knows all about him. Like I said before, nice castle, by the way. And then... Um, what the hell is that? Oh, wait a second, that little thing. I didn't see that before, am I... I am looking at volume one, right? Because that little being... I wasn't supposed to be there for a while. Does it show up sooner? I don't remember that. Yeah, that demon fetus. So when I first saw it, I, I really didn't think anything of it. Because I thought it was just some little monster. No, yeah, but it's definitely volume one, because I remember Puck. And, oh, god, I, did, I just don't remember that demon be showing up so soon. And it's trying to crawl to him. It looks like a deformed tadpole, and it's trying to crawl to him. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Saying, get away from me. And he's furious. But then Puck interferes and slips and falls into some bucket of water. <laughs> and he has the key ring. Mm -hmm. Kinda yellow, don't tell me it's... He's pee pee! Ah, Puck! That wasn't a bucket of water, that was pee pee! Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> Hmm. Nightmare, wow. They really worked you over, didn't they? Oh, it was a nightmare. Ah, because he turns back. And he, and the that thing's not there anymore. Hmm. And Puck put the guard to sleep and took the key ring. There. You're covered in wounds. <laughs> and Guts is wondering why. To repay a debt, we elves have a strong sense of duty. Oh, and oh, touch Guts! Oh, you touched Guts. You don't like you being touched. Oh. Oh, poor Puck. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, because I think every time he gets touched, he's kind of reminded of what happened to him. 
the PTSD thing and Guts has it pretty badly. You find out later though. Like, I only know part of it. Yeah, but see, Puck, he doesn't know that. So he has a difficulty trusting and there's good reason for that. Let me handle it. And Puck is uh, showing his ass and he is um, farting with healing particles. That's such a cute little scene though. He's a cute little butt. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, look, see Puck's healing him. That's so cute. Yeah, you do have all sorts of powers. Aww. He, oh, we can heal wounds, we can sense people's emotions, we can even make people happy. Or at least that's what our troop leader said before he got his head cut off by bandits. Yeah, that's real happy. Get your head cut off. That makes people happy. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. You want to? Ah, there it is. Crestor. Yeah, it's a brand. And then he swats his ass because he's not talking about it. Well, he does, but it's like, no. Nah. Brand. It's the brand. <laughs> How did it happen? What did it do to you, huh? Yeah. Yeah, of course, it's hard to talk about. Yeah, you'll find out. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys, yeah, it's them. <laughs> Look at Puck, he looks so innocent here. Like, oh, 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 like he's really not aware of um, certain things. Oh, god damn. So... He's just gonna find the snake baron. Look at his big feet. Would you like to kiss his feet so you can kick it in the face? Oh, Guts just doesn't... Yeah, that's the thing about Guts is that it's kind of me, 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 revenge, revenge, revenge and doesn't really give a shit about the effect it might have on others. I'm just very, like, myopic in a lot of ways. Yeah, I look Puck's so nervous. Anyone who dies because they get caught up in someone else's fight is a small fry who doesn't have the strength to survive in the first place. Yeah, Puck is a bit tormented by it because he can sense the anger, the hostility. If someone can't live their life the way they please, they might as well die. Yeah, well, I can understand that, but uh, it's not your call to make. Rage. No, it's definitely rage. Sadness and fear. I don't think Guts feels fear the same way people, other people do. Like, I think it manifests differently. Like, I think it manifests in more anger. So he's definitely not someone you can easily cow. Grr. <laughs> yeah, like, what was up with that? Like, when you saved him and... Oh, Jesus. God's looking all goofy here. He's laughing. Oh, damn. <laughs> little... Oh, he's so mean to Puck. Ah, then Puck's all stepping on him. He's not very happy. He would have punched him in the chin. <laughs> oh, no, look at the Puck. He's crying. Oh, I'd be mean to him. That's not very nice. Why are you so mean? Anyway. And then he just leaves. Ha ha. Oh, but he leaves the key ring, though. Well, it was you being an asshole. That's what it's all about. But at least, like, Guts doesn't really sugarcoat it. I'm just completely honest. At least just go from what I can see now. Like, it's just he is what he is. Doesn't sugar-coated or finesse it's just ah fuck you all and then oh god why are you scratching yourself oh he puts it on the yeah I remember that like he'll like cut himself and then he'll put blood on the brand but I never figured out why because I haven't really gotten that deep into this yet 
<laughs> and then pucks flying over here. Holy shit. Wow, it's like the town is just on fire. Oh. Um oh my god. Someone's eyes are being popped out. It's just a whole bunch of soldiers. There's a spread of soldiers on horses just going after people who have no way to fight back. Wow, how admirable. <gasps> Is that a baby? He has it right on an axe. I'm sorry about that, but... It's... Oh, Jesus. It's... No, it's... It's on an axe. Jesus, couldn't be any older than two. And he's drinking the blood. Oh my god, get AIDS. But yeah, we know, it's not human. And then he's just burning everything to the ground. Huh. There's guts. And suddenly comes out and starts killing everyone. Right. <laughs> And he's shooting everyone. Someone gets shot in the mouth and the throat and the neck. <laughs> oh god. No, no, no. And damn, he's so furiously angry. The hell kind of crossbow is that? It is a repeating crossbow, I think, that he has mounted on him. How long have... Oh my god, it's almost 30 minutes. Then on page 64, what kind of... Cr yeah, it's a repeating crossbow mounted on his iron arm. And at the same time, he's just killing everything that gets in his way. He's so strong! Yeah, he is. So, you're the black swordsman, the one who's been hunting us apostles. Looks like it. Well, um, he can oppose you. You think it's pure folly? He doesn't think so. And the arrows are going right in his mouth. It doesn't seem to have an effect. Or does it? I can't tell. No way. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think he'd go down that easily. He has arrows all over his chest, his eyes, mouth, throat. <laughs> mm. You. Oh, damn. Them boots, guts. And then... This, something crashes into the snake baron. And guts just walks off. Oh, but it's still alive. Cause it's got him by the, got him with the tail. And that puck is just so like, oh my god. Oh. Oh, guts getting thrown around by snake. It's futile. It's a ghost, snake ghost. No matter how many bolts you shoot at me, a mere human like you can't possibly kill me. Looks like he's, he looks like a vagina sucking a dick. Can't you t and then he's got teeth on his head. That's it. A toothy face with a snake hat and a vagina mouth sucking a dick. <laughs> That's what it looks like, I swear. Doesn't even look scary, just looks dumb. And then Guts is angry, as usual. And holy shit, that is a snake alright. A snake with arms and legs. I am going to eat you. <laughs> yeah, that's a monster. <laughs> Definitely a monster. Start running. Eat you alive, boy. Ugh. Looks like a deformed Godzilla, and Puck is so scared. The spots there, wah! <laughs> He's... 
coming, he's coming. I hope he cleans up after himself. He's coming. God. Holy shit, yeah. This ain't gonna be an easy fight. For reasons that should be obvious. <clears throat> oh god damn. Face plant. I'm probably at the 30 minute mark, but I can't. I can't really stop right now. I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe after the fight I'll go ahead and do so, but... We're in the middle of awesome and we can't stop there. Guts gets face planted. Ouchie. Did you notice the detail? Well, no, you don't. <laughs> but um, that is one thing. Like, every single scale, like every piece of him, like Mira just has to show that off. To show all the D. So it makes it look very lifelike. In my humble opinion, you in trouble, guts. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's still alive, of course. Oh no, guts! He's so badly hurt, dazed. But we all know he lives. No, he's not. He's not weak. <laughs> food should learn how to act like food. Yeah, we're just talking about humans, asshole. <laughs> blows his face off. <laughs> God. Yeah, because that, um... His arm is also a cannon. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> Explosion. God damn. Some explosion pills for the snake baron. <laughs> Puck's so adorable as always. Yee. He, oh god, and then he slices the Baron in half. That's a damn. That just looks so amazing. Like, all of his strength just cuts the Baron in half. Ah, didn't see that coming. I bet. Are those intestines? They are. They're just flying everywhere. Oh, damn. Is the Baron still up? I don't think so. Oh no, it's still alive! Don't die on me yet. Seriously? Oh, that's so fucking funny. This, uh, apostle is like, Stop! Please! Shut up! You ever hear the pleas of your victims? No. So why should anybody listen to you? <laughs> Being unkillable and all. Like you said, humans are weak. We die easily. But no matter how weak we are, even if we're being chopped to bits or stabbed to death, we still want to live. I'm gonna give you a little taste of what it's like. And basically just p bolts him with arrows. Oh, Puck, it's just... <laughs> yikes. And you're asking about the god hand guts? <laughs> I don't... It's not for apostles to know, really. And Guts walks off. Take your time and savor it as your body is slowly burned to ashes. Hmm. <laughs> this won't be the last time we see this happen. And there goes the snake baron. And he's all like, I don't want to die. Help me. Really? Why? Why would he do that? <laughs> I can't believe you'd expect that. Because seeing as you, like, burnt everyone else and slaughtered everyone. <laughs> Funny how that works. And, and he just walks away, like, just angry, angry, angry. Berserk. Yep. <laughs> and that actually ends what I believe is the first chapter. Black Swordsman. End.
Jesus, I'm gonna stop right here for a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, wow, says some reviewers. Yeah, this is a series that just doesn't mess around. Like, not at all. Not at all, and I will... <laughs> and I'm just gonna take a breather, because I need one. I <laughs> hope you liked. <laughs>